Hi, high performer. I so love seeing you here. Since we have entered a brand new year, a new magical year that is ahead of us, I would of course like to share with you two keys for how you can make this year extraordinary. This is Maria Linder, mentor and high performance coach, helping you to reach success and fulfillment. Okay, we have entered the new year which is right now 2023. But no matter when you're watching this video, these two keys will help you unlock so many possibilities. Okay, we often talk about uh, New Year's goals. And yes, goals are great. And we're going to talk about them also in step number two. But the first thing that I would love for you to do is to select a keyword. So what is a keyword then? Well, a keyword here in this case, means that you will select a word that describes, for example, an emotion that you want to experience more of this year. This could be anything from joy, it could be inner peace, it could be feeling powerful, it could be proud, uh, it could be um, fascination. Uh, and this can, of course, be softer things like this, or it could be courage, for example, or strength. So depending on what you would like to have as your keyword or as your theme this year, this is what I want you to do. And I would say here, it is good if you choose one, but it's also okay if you pick two of them. So let me give you an example. One year, for example, I chose strength. And then I defined what does this mean to me uh, in terms of, for example, strength when it comes to my health and my body, strength when it comes to, for example, financial freedom, strength when it comes to, for example, feeling strong uh, and having trust in myself and so on. And the beautiful thing about having a keyword means that it will guide you throughout this year and also be something that um, infuses everything you do and also how you take on, for example, work tasks, challenges and so on. So this is a beautiful and really, really extraordinary way to really start the new year, to unlock all of these endless possibilities that await you. So that is the first key. Key number two then, that is about the goal setting, of course. But what I would like for you to do here is that I would like for you to actually decide on three goals. And why do I want you to select three goals? Well, it's because many times we select one goal that is only based on not feeling enough. I have to lose weight or I have to achieve this, uh, get this job or I have to, um, you know, whatever it might be. But many times it's based uh, from a place of lack. And I would like for you, your goals to, of course, push you uh, to have you strive and uh, ex uh, achieve extraordinary things. But I also want you to balance them because in order to stay high performing, you cannot only operate from your mind and your will uh, and taking action, but you also need to balance it with, for example, your physical health and also that feeling of joy, of love, of inner peace, of well-being. So, here I'm going to give you three different categories that I want you to use. And the first category and the first goal is, of course, about success. So here you will select that uh, goal that might be about, for example, work or sales, uh, or it might be something about like having a new house or, you know, something like that. It's very tangible, concrete and easy to measure. So that is the first category and goal. Okay, your success goal. But then moving on then to goal number two, that is about your health. And here I talk about your physical health because without your physical health and that energy, you cannot carry yourself, you cannot push yourself, you cannot uh, make great decisions, you cannot prioritize the same way. So that is why it's so important. And when it comes to health, my friend, once again, this does not have to mean that you are about to, you have to become super, super strong or you have to, um, as we talked about losing weight and so on, but it could be something as simple as getting more rest, feeling more relaxed, uh, for example, drinking more water, uh, or it might be to be more playful in my uh, training and so on. So you can also use here a scale, for example, if it's about, for example, your energy, your physical um, energy, you might say, uh, I want to go on a, from, on a scale from, for example, three to a a seven this year when it comes to that. 
So you can really select something that really helps you to also um, take care of your health and your body. Fantastic. And uh, now we're moving on to the third category and the third goal. And this one, my friend, is so important. And this one is about your fulfillment. So here I am talking about not your physical health, but your inner well-being. And this could be anything from your experience of love. It could be about feeling that calm of feeling that inner peace or serenity. It might be about your alignment and about be about something that makes you feel, oh, good inside. So this is really where we need to come from, come from the inside and then extend out. So that is why it's so important. And you can also here use, as we talked about, a scale, because this is probably not like really tangible. So here you might use that scale again from one to 10, for example. And uh, you might say that I would like to feel, um, I would like to feel calm. And uh, set that on a scale from, for example, I want to go from a number five to number nine or 10 this year to have that calm within you and carry that with you throughout the day. Because this way you will also uh, give space for that. You will also honor this feeling instead of just pushing yourself. So that is why I also want you to have this with you and have this really as, uh, as your guiding star also throughout the days and throughout this year. Um, one thing also, the last thing that I'm going to add here now before I'm going to summarize it all, is that also um, when it comes to this goal about your fulfillment, you can also actually um, relate this also to your success goal, for example. And if your success goal is, for example, I would like to sell or earn this amount of money, then you need to ask yourself, how do I want to feel inside? How does this make me feel inside when I have reached that goal, when I have all of this money on my account? And then it might be that you feel proud or you feel, for example, just relaxed. But let's say you want to feel proud of yourself. Then in that case, that might be that goal when it comes to your fulfillment. You want to feel proud. And then you can use, for example, also later on, uh, when you're working with this and cultivating and give space for this feeling also, um, visualization where you are tapping into or really remembering a situation when you have felt really good about yourself, when you have felt really proud. So there are lots of different ways. We're not going to go into depth now into how you can reach your goals, but I really want you to take this with you. Start your year by doing this. And here da -da -da -ding, comes the summary, of course. So what we have been talking about today in order for you to make this year extraordinary, uh, you can use these two keys. Keys number one, keys number one, key number one is for you to decide on a keyword. So this is a word that will be almost like a, like a spirit, a spice, something that really just like moves in you and that is like a guiding star. You can also see it as a theme, for example, like in a movie or something, but you can also see it as a theme. But when you select a keyword, that describes, for example, a feeling or state that you want to be in uh, this year. Um, fantastic. And the second key now, my friend, the last key is for you also to decide on three goals. And the first goal is about success. So really about tangible things, for example, your work, career or business and so on. And the second goal is about your health, your physical health. And this could be something where you need to push yourself, or it might be something where you need to also start relaxing more. Uh, it could be, for example, like practicing actually just like uh, releasing and relaxing and like just like really being really lazy in order to just like allow your system to recover and rest. And then the third uh, goal and category is the fulfillment part, as we talked about, uh, where you will select something that is about how you want to feel on the inside throughout this year. So there you have it, my friend. I so hope that this will help you. If you are doing just one of these things, I would say uh, select the keyword. So uh, this is going to help you throughout the year and also help you to stay balanced, motivated also, and um, high performing, of course. If you like this tip, my friend, if you like this video, make sure also that you go to 
www.lindamaria.com and sign up there for my newsletter. Because that way I will be able to give you my latest video. So with tips just like this one, plus also some special gifts and secrets and bonuses that I only share with you in email. With all my heart, may this serve you. And remember this, you have the power to create miracles in your life and in your business.